Hi there guys, I'm just kind of throwing together a quick tutorial here to kind of show you guys how to do something quick in the uh, Unity engine. Um, and like I said, this is going to be pretty quick. Basically how it's going to work is every time, every couple of seconds, it's going to fire a certain script. It's going to make a certain script, do a certain thing to a certain object um, in order to kind of, you know, achieve whatever ends you might want. And I'll actually kind of show you a, a pretty basic applicable use towards the end. Um... And that being said, let's just kind of jump into it. First things first, you're going to need a uh, wait script, or it can be really called anything. I just called mine wait script, all right? It doesn't matter what you call it, just, you know, call it whatever. Wait script, all right, cool, we're in. All right, so first thing you can see here is that I've gotten rid of everything except for the public void update and, you know, this important stuff up here. Well, all we really need is the update. So, um, you know, first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare some variables. So we're going to need a public int is running. And we're going to set that to 1. Also, we are going to need a public int number of seconds. Now, what are these things? Well, is running is pretty self-explanatory. While, I mean, I guess I'll explain it to you guys. I mean, it's self-explanatory in my head. Um, but while this is 1, basically, what we're going to tell our script is do it. Do the script while it's 1. And if it's a 0, don't do the script. Simple as that, you know? Um, this one, number of seconds, we're going to be able to set this in the editor. That's why I left it blank. And this is going to de designate how many seconds in between, you know, um, each time we fire the script. You'll see. Okay. So we're going to hop in and we're going to need an if is running equals one. Then do, you know, what's in here. Um, and we're going to need tell to do something in here, right? So start. And this is a core routine. And this is what's going to let us do these things kind of in the in the background, you know? Um, start so core routine, and we'll just kind of leave nothing in there for now. Now we're going to have to jump out of the update. Make sure you're out of the actual update function. So pass the if, if statement, and then um, out of the update function. So we're here, and now we're going to need another uh, function. So we're going to need public, and this one's going to be an I enumerator. Oops, shoot. Not an enumerable, like you saw me just do there. An enumerator. So we're going to need an I enumerator, and then we're going to have to call it, you know, whatever we want, really. I'm just going to call it wait. And we're going to need some curvy brackets. Okay. Now, inside of here, we need to call or tell it what function we want it to play, you know? So we're going to put in wait. Wait with the uh, parentheses. And then um, in here, this is pretty important. First thing we want to do is we want to set is running to zero. That way, um, because update, when you put things in the update function, it calls them every single time the game, you know, updates, which is all the time, as fast as your computer is really. So we don't want that. We don't want it to call every single time because that'll be kind of hectic and it won't even have the desired effect. We only want this to call every single other time. And if we do this, you'll, you'll see how it'll work. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. This is why we need to put this in I enumerator because we need this script. Yield, return, new, wait, Four seconds. There. And now one thing we could do is we could put a 2 in here. Or we could put a 5 in here. Or we could put an 8 in here. Um, but we don't want that. We don't want to to do that because we want to be a little more flexible. So we're going to do a number of seconds. So we're going to put that in there. Um, then we're going to do is running equals 1. Um, that way, you know, it resets it. And if it's at 1... When the update is called, it'll call it again. So basically every single time, you know, the seconds go through, it'll it'll do that. Now, how can we prove that this is doing what I say it's going to do? Well, we can prove it by putting in a game object script dot transform dot translate. And this isn't even really crucial to it. This is just kind of to show it working um, with a physical force, you know. And we'll just do one, zero, zero. Um, and that, that seems to be fine. So we're going to hop back into their editor. And we're going to go to our cube here, and we're going to drag cube. We're going to drag the wait script onto the cube. Number of seconds, we'll set that to two. And then we'll play. And let's watch the cube. It moved. It moved. It moved again. One, two, move. One, two, move. All right, so now we can see you know, every two seconds this cube will move. Um, so what are the practical uses? Well, one thing I actually like, kind of like to use this for is I like to make a timer. So we'll do public int timer 
And then, yep, we'll clear that out there. And then here we'll do timer equals timer plus one. That way it'll add one every time this is fired. And then just to show it working, debug.log timer. There. Um, now let's play the game again. Oh, and um, actually I'm going to pull this out. And just to kind of show how this works as well, if we change this to one, and it'll change, it'll do this every one second. So it'll move every one second. One, one, one. See how it moves. Um, and you know, as this is called, uh, it tells us how, actually, how many seconds we were in. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did that for about eight seconds. So yeah. Anyways, I, I, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll, I'll maybe make a couple more because you know I'll, I actually made this for a class, kind of a thing, a little bit of an extra credit project. And you know, nothing wrong with extra credit. So <laughs> anyways, you know, thanks for taking the time to watch. Um, I'm really glad that you stopped by. So yeah, see you next time.